Hello everyone and welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. Lately lots of subscribers and viewers were asking me how much money you need to spend these days in Thailand or maybe how much a vacation costs in Thailand. As you know lately there are many extra costs and requirements in order to enter besides the money that you will spend while you are enjoying your vacation. In our terms we have asked in the community post what is the most thing that you spend money on while you are in Thailand and we got a quiet idea from your answers on what mostly you are spending on because it has a lot to do with how much money you need and how much you could spend depending on your preferences. So in this vlog we are going to talk about each one of them and at the end try to generalize and give you an idea about the budget you may spend while you are in Thailand. Now here before we start our vlog let us clear that we are not talking about the extra expenses that you should spend these days because of the extra requirements that you are paying lately to enter Thailand. We have made a clear vlog about that and as a summary we said that you are spending between $500 into $1000 as an extra cost paid for entry requirements before you start your vacation. So now let us start with the basic expenses. Of course the first thing in mind should be your hotel booking or any kind of accommodation that you prefer to stay in. Now this was not one of the options in our community poll but according to the comments not a lot of spenders on that. Hence most of the hotels in Thailand especially these days are budget friendly and the range could be between 20 to 40 dollars per night including breakfast. Ten days stay will not cost you more than $400 or even much less. Lately I have booked a 5 star hotel in downtown Bangkok only for $30 per night including breakfast. If you search I am sure you will find many luxury hotels that fits your budget. So hotels are not the most thing that people spend these days in Thailand. According to our poll, Sims food is the second most thing that people spend on in Thailand. And that is obvious, because you are in a vacation and you are in Thailand. And of course you won't resist the local spicy Thai dishes that are served on the streets, food courts or the famous restaurants. Now here I want to clarify something so that you may know how much you could spend on food in Thailand. If you go local and love Thai street food, visit night markets, famous street food areas like Chinatown or maybe Siloam, then I am sure you will not spend a lot, since a dish will not cost you more than $3. So you can spend all day eating in such local places without even spending $20 per day. Which means on average $50 a day will be your budget, where in 10 days you may not spend more than $200 on food. Again, this budget is possible if you stay local. Now if you are not into street food and you love to eat in international restaurants or maybe fast food just like you are at home then bring up your budget cause a burger meal could cost you between 6 to 10 dollars or maybe a pizza for 15 dollars. And if you love the fancy restaurants then a lunch or a dinner will be not less than 20 dollars. This goes also for your coffees or snacks where you may pay a 10 dollars for a creamy mug. It's costly but worthy. Since you are enjoying the best change so all in all if you go international then you may spend more than $50 daily on your meals. So keep that in mind unless you make a balance between local and international. Now before we jump into shopping let me tell you that transportation is also one of the expenses that you should take into consideration when you are in Thailand, especially if you move a lot. 
you could spend daily a $10 if not more on your daily trips between malls, markets, hotels, restaurants, and using the public transportation in the capital could save a lot of time and money. Now here you should always check what is the best way for you to move in the capital or the islands since if you choose the wrong transportation, you may lose your day and your money, so be wise. On average, as we said, you may spend $10 per day and that should be the reasonable budget. If you are spending more than that, then you are not using the best ways of transportation. For example, a motorbike ride could cost you 300 baht if you don't know where you are going or how much you should pay. So always ask and you will pay less. According to our community poll, seems shopping also not the most one spent on in Thailand. Hence less than 10% voted on that. Although, Thailand especially Bangkok, known as shopping heaven to everyone. Whatever you are looking for, you will find there. From copy items into international original brands and much much more. But here again, your budget will vary according on your preferences. If you go for local brands and Thai items, and if you are good in bargaining, you may buy lots of items which are less than $3. But as I said, if you are good in bargaining, if not, well then you may pay 4 times more than the price. So keep that in mind. If you are there for international brands, then you may pay more than what you pay in your own country. So not that much attracting prices when you are buying original brands. All in all depends on your choices, but as I said, I am sure you will find a lot of things that you might love to bring it back with you home. But on average, you may spend two to $500 on shopping. Now tours and trips are also essential in your daily budget if you are especially first time in Thailand. The average tours are between 500 to 2000 baht per trip. And again, you should know from where to book and how much to pay in order not to spend extra. But on average in 10 days trip, you may spend 3 to 400 dollars on tours. And I am sure it's very essential if it's your first time in Thailand. Here we come to the massage sessions before we talk about nightlife. You are in Thailand then massage sessions could be one of your daily expenses. But fortunately they are so cheap. And the session of 1 hour would not cost you more than $6. But if you like luxury experiences, then you may pay more than $100 for a session. But in general, you may spend maximum a $100 on massage sessions in 10 days. Which is so cheap. Go for it and enjoy them unless you will regret it. Finally, according to our community poll, the most spent on in Thailand is the nightlife. Well, seems our subscribers and viewers love to party. So nightlife is the most thing that people spend when they are in Thailand. Here your budget could vary a lot because there is a huge difference according on what you are looking for. If you are not into that much nightlife and you love some beers, visiting walking streets, have some good company, dancing, maybe visiting nightclubs and bars, playing some pool, 
then your budget could be 10 to 30 dollars per night and you will have fun and enjoy lots of things so all in all you won't spend more than 300 dollars on nightlife for a 10 days vacation Now if you are a party lover and you like to pump it up till the morning light, then make your wallet fat. Since if you are going to spend between red light districts, go go bars, VIP nights and more, and even if you want to enjoy lots of nice company, then the sky is the limit. And you are in Thailand, so as much as you pay, as much as you get. There is no limit for spending, and here you may spend a whole budget alone on nightlife. And you know what I'm talking about. So it's all up to you. If you are ready to pay, then you may see the stars. As you see, it all depends on you and what are your preferences. Where you may have a budget vacation spending $1,000 in 10 days, or if you want to go wild, then you may spend more than four to five thousand dollars. But the best part of it, whatever you spend, you will enjoy your vacation. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.